Well, hello, hello, hello. My name is Mitchell Osborne. You can find me at MitchellOsborne.com. It's right, no, right there, right there. So I am going to do um, a collective reading, and this is the Down the Rabbit Hole spread. And this came with um, the Alice, excuse me, Alice the Wonderland Oracle, which is by Jasmine Griffith Beckett, Jasmine Beckett Griffith, and Lucy Cavendish. Um, the artwork is amazing. That's Jasmine. Um, <clears throat> the spread is phenomenal. And it's funny because I made this my spread of the week, and so it's already discounted out there. Um, but it's and the reason I'm doing this for two reasons. One, um, somebody purchased the spread and I did it. It reminded me of just how freaking powerful the spread with the deck is. It reminds me of how powerful the Ghetto Tarot spreads are with the Ghetto Tarot deck that Alice Smeets did. You know, this one Lucy Cavendish and Jasmine did, and it, they just go so well that it's like so powerful the way they've connected the questions and then the way the cards show up. Because there, I believe, um, are 50, 45 cards. So there are 45 cards and um, just beautiful. So you get to see about eight of them with the spread that I'm about to do. So hey, Aurelis. Um, but I'm not going to do any personal readings tonight, but this spread is really powerful. So I'll probably be on here maybe 15 minutes at the most. So if you have questions, holler. But like I said, this is the Down the Rabbit Hole spread using Alice the Wonderland Oracle deck from Jasmine Beckett Griffith and Lucy Cavendish. And Jasmine actually lives in Celebration, Florida, where I'm from. So I've met her a couple times when she's done some deck signings. And right back there I have about probably about eight of her decks. <laughs> and they're all the big eye girls. They're all the big eye girls. They're just beautiful. That's the work that she does. So, um, oh, also, here's what I want to say too. So this is, well, some people are gathering on because there's like four here right now. If you're watching this in the replay, you can still get a great collective reading for this. Hey, Melissa. Melissa, you can echo what I'm about to say. So the last couple of days, I've felt this what I'm going to call anxious feeling. It feels like I'm jacked up on caffeine. I want to get up. I want to move. And anytime I feel that, and a lot of people are echoing this, um, we are in retrograde. All right. And we are also um, in Scorpio. Um, we just had a powerful new moon. We had the, um, the uh, new year on November 1st, which is more of the pagan Gaelic traditions. Um, so there's a lot going on in the atmosphere and the ethers. And I think people are feeling that. So what I recommend to you, and this is one of those videos I will encourage you to share with people, especially if someone's like, I just don't know what's going on. The first thing I recommend you doing, and I'm shuffling the cards as I'm talking because I want this energy to be on the cards. The first thing I recommend is just pause and realize it's not going to be this way forever. And if you've ever been through any kind of counseling like I had years ago for depression and anxiety, that was one of the big tools that I learned. Um, Melissa's echoing it, yes, and she does this work, people. Um, but that was one of the tools I gained was it's not going to last forever. And if you're dealing with anxiety or depression, first of all, seek, seek help, truly seek help, especially if it lasts more than like one, two, three, four days. Um, but typically we what we do is we, we start feeling that craziness and we we start spiraling ourselves down this is where I believe so many of us bring ourselves down lower our own personal vibration because of fear because of you know just what's going on um, do I believe that some people need medication yes do I believe that most people can work themselves up and out of it yes with proper tools with mindfulness with understanding with chunking things down with so many different things that's why I say you know definitely get help um, I don't cross the line into therapy but as a um, as a coach um, as a health and fitness coach for years um, I do step in to that part of it, the, what I call the five dimensions of wellness. And I just created a, a spread called Crazy Energy Coaching Spread, which is basically I pulled five cards for the five different dimensions. I'm working on it. I'll have it up this weekend. It's going to be my spread of the week with a discount. But I'm telling you all that because first, when you start to feel, hey, Mickey, when you start, <coughs> excuse me, when you start to feel this crazy energy, first realize it's not going to last forever. Second, this is what I recommend. Say, all right, spirit. If this is my stuff, then show me how to handle it. Show me how to deal with it. Show me how to work through it. If it's not my stuff, 
I release it back to the ethers. And by my stuff, I mean, is this something, you know, that you got going on inside of you that you need to deal with? A lot of times we're picking up on other people's stuff. We're picking up on the world stuff. I call it, it's like the weather. If you walk out and it's 98 degrees and the humidity is the same, you're going to feel yucky. And you want to go back inside in the air condition and rest. So if the atmospheric, astrological, zodiological stuff is, you know, 98 degrees and humid, you're going to feel it. You know, so balancing yourself. But I also, as that fitness professional coach, I work in the five dimensions. First of all, what's going on with you spiritually? You, you just told spirit, if it's mine, let me deal with it. Second, what's going on physically? How's my food? Am I sleeping? You know, am I eating things that are making me, you know, you eat, you poop, you eat, you poop. If you don't, after every time you eat, you're not pooping, then you're con you're technically constipated, you know, and that backs up in our system. So first of all, work, what's going on physically? Then intellectually, are you, you know, ruminating over things? Are you spiraling down? Are you woe is mean? Are you letting the victim mentalities creep in? You know, and also, you know, remember, worry is a prayer for the very thing you don't want. So that's where the intellectual, and again, like I said, first off, it's not going to last forever. It's not. And you got to remember that, and that intellectually can help. Then emotionally, how are you doing emotionally? Are you able to find mindfulness time? Are you able to find people that you can share with and support that support you and, and help you? And then socially, maybe it's time to weed your social guard. Maybe it's time to back away from things that are not, you know, so healthy for you. Um, you know, so those are the five dimensions. So look into those areas. And that's kind of what the, that spread is. And I use the word coaching because you're going to get a lot of what I, what I just said, but with the cards as well. I may pull one, I may pull three, but it's definitely five dimensions. And I look into those. But I'm saying all that because I know so many people are feeling how crazy it is right now. Um, and crazy is just energy, how we utilize it, how we our perspective of it is what we have control of. The other day, I dealt with Mercury retrograde last week. Hey, Yvette. So I'm glad. I'm, Spirit pushed me to have this message tonight because I've been thinking about it all day. And I almost did it in the car. I almost did it on a lunch break. But I thought, let me get home. Let me pull the cards and do the spread I'm about to do. Um, but yeah, so it, it's it's definitely a, a time, you know, and, and just be conscious that um, I was about to say last week I had my Mercury retrograde moment, my laptop froze up, shut down. I had to delete everything. I only had a backup from two years ago and, and I just took a breath and I said, all right, spirit. I'm going to get through this. Everything's going to be fine. It took me about 30 minutes to realize I was stressing over something that I didn't need to stress over. And, um, you know, I was online probably a total of five hours with Apple throughout the day. Had to erase everything. It took 48 hours for it to reload and back up. And I was thinking it better be ready for my Sunday night show. And it was. Um, and I've only had to <clears throat> very slowly redo a few things. And as I've redone them, it felt good. It felt like housekeeping. It felt like, okay, I'm redoing them, but I'm doing them a little bit different because they looked a little outdated before. And I'm talking about things like, you know, how I produce my videos and certain pamphlets and stuff like that as well. So, so if you have questions, post them. But let me go ahead and give the um, this eight card spread. So this is down the rabbit hole. It is in the Alice, the Wonderland Oracle deck. And I love this spread, eight cards. Um, and just listen to the questions because they really formulated them well. So final cut. The first card for the collective. If you watch this, this is for you. Trust. Trust that your message will resonate with you personally. So the white rabbit is the first card. What you need to follow. So you're going to follow that rabbit. This is where you can create or be inspired by an opportunity for you to go after. So where as a collective? Manage to be glad. So let me make sure you can see all the words. So create your own happiness regardless of conditions. Just what I was talking about. And look at this, I, that it almost like it's a skunk, but not. But you can see the beauty in this card. It's card number 43, which is seven. And I'm a numerological guy, so seven is about metaphysical, mystical, spiritual research, and lose, analyzing solitude. So manage to be glad. That's the white rabbit you need to follow. You know, regardless of the conditions, create your own happiness. And that's a tough one because a lot of people want you to be sad about something, want you to be angry, want you to be offended. Follow your own white rabbit of happiness. Manage to be glad. Post that on your refrigerator or your, your phone or something. Card number two, the fall. So you follow the rabbit. You're managing to be glad. The fall. What you will discover about yourself during the descent. 
So a moment's regret, nostalgia, idealizing the past, fearing you made a mistake. So you're going to have that moment. This card was the exact same card that came up in my client's reading. So you're going to have that moment of, oh my gosh, I want to be happy. I want to be glad. But wait a minute. I'm going to have a moment of regret. You're going to wonder if you made a mistake because other people are saying, why are you happy when all of your life is falling apart? And you're like, because I'm, I'm peaceful about the direction everything is going. So card number three, the release. What you need to let go of in order to pursue your dreams. To open one door at the bottom of the rabbit hole, you must let go of the possibility of another door opening. And this one is, oh, this is one of my favorite cards. Curiouser and curiouser. Discovery, inquiry, weirdness, curiosity. So what do you need to do when you get to the bottom of that rabbit hole? Just be curious. This is what I say to a lot of people when I'm working with their animals. I say, just sit there and be curious of your animal. Just stare at them. Just wonder about them. Just look into their eye. Connect with their heart. They will speak to you and you will get lessons. So that was the release. So what do you need to release of? In order, this curiouser and curiouser. Just be curious. Just let go so this door will open for you. Now the madness, this is card number four. So what is the madness? That is the great challenge of the adventure. The aspect you may doubt with you, within yourself as you undergo the journey. So what? follow your own good advice. Trust yourself. You know what's best. You may doubt the, your own advice. Literally, the aspect you may doubt. <laughs> follow your own advice. So this is it. Trust your gut. Trust your intuition. And this is card number 10, which is number one, which is about starts and beginnings, you know, action. So definitely trust yourself. Trust yourself through this. That's the madness. What? Trust your own self. You don't need to talk to people. Card number five, wisdom. The lesson you will learn through this adventure. Nonsense. <laughs> It's time to talk nonsense. I love it. What are you going to learn? And that's another number one because it's 28. So what are you going to learn through this adventure? I'm going to be honest, that it's all crap. <laughs> Everything. It's a matrix. It's an illusion. You know, it's nonsense. The worry that we often bring upon ourselves afterwards, we look back and go, that was nonsense. That was nothing. You know? So that was card number five. That was the wisdom. That's the lesson you're going to learn how silly things become. The nonsense. Card number six is the challenge. This card signifies your climb out of the perils and enchantment of Wonderland and what you will need to do to make a success of bringing back what you've learned. The right way, learning to create what you desire. Oh, look at that. So this is, you're going to come back bringing the, the idea of how to manifest and to bring things into light. Look at the card. I love the frog. I can't remember the frog's role in, in this, in um, Alice in Wonderland. But, so what are you going to bring back what you've learned? How to create, how to manifest, learning to create what you desire. Beautiful, beautiful card. So that was three, six. Card number seven, the ascent. So going back up, one of the great benefits of this adventure, an integration of the dreamlike world of Wonderland with the everyday world of humanity. Growing up, wanting to grow in experience, Rejection of perpetual youth. So this is about putting on the big boy and girl panties. This is about growing up. And I love that. Rejecting. Rejection of perpetual youth. But wanting to grow in experience. And I believe that's all. I believe in a nutshell. That's all we're here to do is experience. Experience everything we can. Take that experience back to source energy. So hey V. Hey Barrett. So yeah. So this is the ascent. And how fitting that V is on here right now because V, girl, you see what I'm using? I'm doing the, sh the um, down the rabbit hole spread and V is a big, big uh, Alice fan. So the final card is the awakening. Like Alice, you will awaken and when you do, you will have changed. The card indicates just how you have changed and what you can now give to the world as a result of your adventure. This is what I'm talking about, this deck. Belong to your own dream. Create your own life. Look at that card. So this is what you can bring back to the world, that you can teach them how to belong to their own dream and create their own life. I love that image. I love it. I love it. So first of all, beautiful, phenomenal deck. Amazing spread. 
how the cards interact always blows my mind, has never ceased to amaze me how much this works. For those of you coming on later, if you didn't watch the beginning, I talked about this crazy energy and some simple steps that you can do to understand it, get rid of it, um, and also about my crazy energy coaching spread that I literally created sitting at Starbucks today. But I'm gonna, it's out there, but it's gonna be my discounted spread this week. So if you're in a hurry, you can go buy it. Otherwise, wait till um, wait till Saturday, and I'll make it this spread. But basically, it's I'm working with the five dimensions of wellness: spiritual, physical, intellectual, emotional, and social. And in those areas. I'll pull a card or two or three, and it'll be more of a coaching session, so it'll be a longer video. Um, yeah, so Barry, yeah, this is an Oracle deck because it's only 45 cards. Anyway, so I just said I was going to be on here about 15 minutes, so there is the collective reading down the rabbit hole. Feel free to share this with anybody you know is kind of struggling a little bit, um, especially if they're dealing with a little bit of anxious feelings, like I talked about in the beginning. First time viewer, hey, Susan. But Susan, I recognize your name. Susan, um, I think you posted an animal in um, my, my Sunday night, um, my animal thing, and I don't think I ever got to you. Um, so definitely, hopefully you can get back on. We can do that reading for you. But hello, glad you're here tonight. So anyway, so there is the reading. Like I said, it's only going to be on here for a little bit. But if you know someone who's having some difficulty with the energies right now, you know, go back and watch the beginning or tag them, share them with this. I'm also going to download this to my YouTube channel, so it will be there as well. So any final questions or comments, post them now. It takes about 20 to 30 seconds for me to see them. Um, but uh, I want to make sure I get to any before I sign off. I'll, I'll give it just a few minutes. But And while I'm doing that, let me just show you some of the other cards. So you can see um, clock time. We saw that one. Oh, look at that one. No need to fear. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I love this one. Do not drink the poison. Oh, because I love green. Hey, Sue. Keeping up. This one showed up a lot. Um, in other readings. Um, you are rare and free. Love it. So, all right. So just um, any other final questions? If not, thanks for joining me right now. Thanks for sharing, retweeting, posting, subscribing. Um, if you join, if you go over to my YouTube channel, Intuitive Mitchell, and you subscribe, if you ever miss one of these, I download it over there. And immediately when I download a new one, you'll get a, a message that there's a new video to watch too. Because sometimes you miss them on Facebook. So Mickey, thank you so much. They are beautiful cards. Glad you like them as well. And she's got like a vampire deck. She's got a mermaid deck. Um, I discovered her with Beautiful Creatures Tarot deck with J.R. Rivera. And then I discovered, like I said, the vampire, the um, vampire mermaid. Um, there's two other ones. I can't remember what they are. Maybe unicorn or something or fairies or dragons. But I know I've got at least five decks of hers. I bought two of this one because I was so amazed by them. And I got, I got the book signed and everything. So anyway, all right. Namaste, everybody. Have an amazing day, night, weekend, whenever you're watching this. Until next time, see you then. Bye-bye.